Hi there, Chris Hassenberg here with uh, some financial advice from Hassenberg Financial Group. Question for you today. Are you a leader or are you a follower? And I found that after helping hundreds and hundreds of even thousands of families and throughout their, their financial careers, getting when they're young all the way through being retired. In fact, we did an analysis of our practice and about half of our clients are already retired and half want to retire someday. And in and, and, and talking with all of these people over the years, I found that, that everybody uh, has their levels of success seems to be directly related to whether they're a leader or a follower? Do they plan out their days? Do they plan out their years? Do they plan out their life? Or is life taking them down a road and they're just following to whatever life throws at them? And so that's the question that I have for you is, are you a leader or are you a follower? Uh, was 2020 everything that you had hoped it would be? Obviously, it was a very different year for everybody, ever, much more different than what I had planned. I had created a plan for what I thought 2020 was going to look like, and everything changed. And we rolled with it. And our technology is better, and our relationships at home. We've had more family dinners at home than I've had ever. And, you know, yeah, maybe I didn't have my toes in the sand on some beach somewhere like I had planned, but I spent more time on Lake Wasota on the boat this year than I ever have. And so uh, the question is, um, what does 2021 look like for you? I'm actually spending the next four days, six and a half hours a day in some advanced strategic planning training for me to plan out 2021 and planning out a lot of things. It's not just about business. It's about health and what is your health plan? Not insurance, but are, are you as healthy as you want to be? Uh, two, is your finances, and are, is that where they want you, where you want to be? Um, your relationships, uh, what experiences do you want to have in 2021? So as we're approaching the end of the year, I just want you to think about these kind of things and, and, and really bring it down to if you're trying to figure out how do we simplify, what should we do? Okay, just look at three things. If you can look at three things, one is what do you want to experience this year? Do you want to experience a, a vacation, some family time? Do you want to uh, experience better health for you? Or, or uh, do you want to experience a better financial situation? What is it that you want to experience in 2021? The second thing is, what are you going to do to grow this year? Part of the time that I had this year, I actually downloaded an app on my iPad and I started playing a bass guitar. Now, for whatever reason, I just wanted to learn bass guitar. Now, I am no good at bass guitar. I don't play bass guitar. I'm not good at it, but I enjoyed the process of learning something. What do you want to do in 2021 to grow? And then the last is contribution. So if there's three, what do you want to contribute to the world? What do you want to contribute to make the society a better place, if that's something that you even want to do? So just three things. One, what do you want to experience? Two, what do you want to grow? And how do you want to grow? And three, what do you want to do to contribute? And so on. So if you want to share these things with me, feel free to send me an email on the things that you want to do in 2021 that you want to experience and how you want to grow and on what you want to contribute. If you want to share those with me, I'd be more than happy to uh, discuss them with you. So uh, financial and guidance to help you enjoy life more is what we do here at Hassenberg Financial Group. Consider us a resource. Please feel free to give us a call about anything, um, whether it's uh, planning things of this nature or whether it's your personal finances and taxes, estate planning, exposure to long-term care, investments, whatever it is that you have, we are here to help. Again, uh, if you have any questions, give us a call 715-839-6566. And as always, be well. Take care. Bye-bye.